As baseball players, we all love hitting batting practice on fields, but one thing we can all agree on is it absolutely sucks shagging all the baseballs. But what if I told you there was a DIY do-it-yourself life hack that could prevent you from shagging baseballs for the rest of your life? You might call me an idiot. Do you believe me? Yeah. F yeah, she does. But we were surfing the interwebs and we saw a dad and his young little kid, probably that could be Albert Pools today, I don't know. But what he was doing was he tied a baseball to a fishing pole, let his kid hit the ball off the fishing pole and he reeled it in. Never had a shag of baseball. And we're gonna find out if that actually works today. You know, I don't believe anything I read on the internet. I don't believe it, but this actually seems feasible. And we're gonna try it out today. We have tennis balls, blitz balls, and baseballs. So we're gonna try them all out and see if it actually works. Uh, who knows, maybe I can hit a home run and then, you know, reel that sucker back in and do it again. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you stop the like button. If you're new here, that's not mine. Well, And yeah, before we begin, I gotta give a quick shout out to Arlington Parks and Recreation, hooking it up once again with another amazing field. Like, look at these cars on the highway. Absolutely insane, we're right there. Hopefully I don't hit a ball too far because they are gonna just skirt what? So yeah, once again, thank you so much, Arlington Parks and Recreation. Really, makes my life way easier, but let's do this thing. All right, so how this is gonna work is we are going to tape the string to the blitz ball, and then we're gonna hit it, and then we're gonna go to the tennis ball, and then we're gonna go to the baseball, and see if it actually works. I'm kinda skeptical now that I'm about to do it. I don't think it's gonna work. And yeah, I'm not gonna use too much for the blitz ball, just because the baseball is probably gonna need more. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here, wrap it like 17 times with the string, beautiful. And then we're gonna go one loop-de-loop -loop like that. And we're gonna rip it, seal it, and time to go hit it. Okay, so Claire Bear is holding the fishing pole with their fingers. Here is the ball. It's pretty low, but we can adjust that here in a second. But the idea behind this is you are going to hit the ball, it is going to fly, and then Claire is going to reel it in and let me hit it again without having to shag it. Sounds too good to be true, but here we go. All right, here we go. Attempt one with the fishing pole DIY life hack tutorial episode. Oh my God. Reel it in, babe. Oh my God, <laughs> it actually worked. I feel like I probably could have ran out to grab that ball faster. But oh my God, it actually worked. Are you guys seeing this? All right, so clearly attempt one went like flawlessly. I did not think that was gonna work. I'm gonna swing even harder now, now that we know it actually stays on and see how far I can hit this bad boy. Come on. All right, attempt two. That was such a bad swing, but it's working, dude. I'm gonna do blitz ball batting practice in the freaking backyard, baby, woo! Okay, so I hit one pretty good. That second hit was complete trash, but I'm gonna try to pop this bad boy up and see how high it goes. You know, it's, this is insane. You're never gonna lose a ball. I might look like a complete idiot on this, but we'll try it out. Oh, okay. The bat kind of looped the string, but it is still intact, babe. You're reeling, you're reeling it the wrong way, there you go. Three for three with the blitz ball. Let's go try out the tennis ball. All right, now we're gonna go to the tennis ball. I feel like this one is gonna be uh, slightly harder than the blitz ball, but it should still work. Tape, babe, thank you. You're hot, I love you. We're gonna give that one wrap right there. All right, and then we're gonna go here and wrap that like two or three more times. Yeet. Oh, babe, rule one of fishing. Never reel it all the way to the top. <laughs> what the F was that? All right, here we go, round two. We have the tennis ball on the fishing pole with the tape attached. Slightly less optimistic about this one. This is a big fish. Tennis balls weigh like nine pounds. So here we go. Hopefully this goes just as good. I don't feel it. Cameraman, do you feel it? Yeah, I don't feel it. I'm not feeling it. Yes! Wait, we have not landed the fish yet. We don't know for sure. Other way, man, there you go. There you go, reel her in. Mother of God, it worked. I need to hit a little bit better though. Woo! It is four for four. Oh my God, and literally no damage. Let's go again. All right, this challenge or test or whatever has literally blown my mind in blowning, blowning ways it's never been blown before. I think I just made up like three words in that sentence, but it doesn't matter because we are proving this to actually work. Here's round five, tennis ball again. There's no way the baseball is gonna work. There's no freaking shot. Mother of God. I cannot believe how good. <laughs> How good this is actually working. This is insane. Like that ball has hit probably 150 feet probably. And that is working so good. I don't even know if Claire's ever caught a fish. Her first fish she's ever caught is a tennis ball. And there she goes, big old fish on the line. Got it. 
right there. Two pounds, six ounces. Yeah, so uh, we're off to the baseball now. Clearly, it's the heaviest ball, and clearly, it's the most unlikely, unlikely to succeed. And I know I've said this isn't going to work like 17 times in this video, but let's be real here. This ain't going to work. There is no shot a taped baseball is going to allow me to hit it and then come back in. There's no shot. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're going to wrap her a little bit yonder. Might need to do two rounds of the tape on this because, like I said, the balls of baseball are slightly heavier than the tennis balls. It's going to feel slightly heavier. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> this, could be, this could be bad. There's a lot of bend in that rod. All right, so here we go. Round three, the moment we've all been waiting for. Or not waiting for because I'm extremely sketched out. We taped a baseball, a legit baseball, to a fishing pole, and we are going to see if I can hit it. The duct tape should be able to hold. It held with the blitz ball, it held with the tennis ball, but can it hold with the big boy, the freaking baseball? And I'm gonna take a G hack here. I'm gonna see if I can hit a home run. Could you imagine I hit a home run, but it reels it back in? It might take her 30 minutes. I don't even know if there's that much uh, fishing line on the pole, but let's find out here. But I, I think I'm gonna start off slow. I don't wanna just take a mammo whammo right off the bat. So we're just gonna take, take a nice little line drive up the middle, see what happens. You ready, baby? How's it holding up, babe? How is it holding up? Oh my God. Wow, this is like good fishing practice too. Look at Claire. She's working out her shoulders and she's getting fit doing it. This is absolutely insane. As Claire is reeling this in, I just want to say, whoever made this fishing pole, uh, sponsor me. Not only can you catch fish, you can catch baseballs. Oh, might be a little hung up here. Uh, I, let's, let's, let's digest how Claire gets out of this jam she's in. She's never fished. She's never been hung up, okay? That's one way to do it, okay. She gets out of it. Oh, maybe. It's kind of wrapped around her now. She has no clue what's going on. And then she might have just freed it, okay. That's my girlfriend right there. She is so smart. But off to round two, I'm gonna swing a little harder. And yeah, you guys gotta let me know. If you think you could actually run out and grab that baseball faster than it took for Claire to reel it in. I mean, you're getting exercise regardless, but if you like, uh, if you twist an ankle and you don't feel like running out to get the balls, just. Just reel that bad boy in. The first like nine and a half rounds have went incredibly well. We are off to, like I said, round nine or eight or whatever it is. I'm gonna swing a little harder and then round three with the baseball, we're gonna take, or I'm gonna try to hit it out. I won't lie, I swung way harder than I wanted to right there. It's just hard not to. That thing barely left the infield. So I mean, there is a little tension keeping the ball from flying as far as it can. You know, it's on a string, but hey, this is good practice. That's the bass fishing form we are looking for. That a babe. All right, here we go, the final round. The final mammo whammo g hack extraordinarily hard swing ever. We have done tennis balls, blitz balls, baseballs, and here is the final test. Is this worth it? All right, here we go, g hack Come on, baby. Don't choke, don't choke, don't embarrass yourself, please. Three, two, one. It's moving. <laughs> Why is it spinning? Oh, no. <laughs> Good hit. Hit it pretty high. I feel like I just broke both of my hands. And if you guys don't know how to fish, fish on, fish on. Fresh. I might have just broke the string. I don't know, I might have lost the fish. Come on. No! We lost the fish. Are you kidding me? This doesn't work. <laughs> Dang it, I wonder why, what happened. I didn't set the hook that bad, did I? This is called baseball dodgeball. My brother's gonna hit a tennis ball at me, I'm gonna dodge it. You said you're gonna do it easy. All right, well there you have it. Uh, I can honestly say we're all shocked here. I know I am. My brother is a sales Claire Bear. We did not think that was gonna work. Maybe with the blitz ball, maybe with the tennis ball, but definitely not with the baseball. But if you guys are as lazy as I am and you don't like shagging balls, this could be a uh, an alternative to actually doing that. It's probably not the most practical. You know, probably just go shag the balls. But. It technically works if you want to do it. So that is episode one of these baseball DIY life hack makeup tutorial videos. Whatever you want to call it. That's out, huh, baby. Good shot, Roger. But if you guys have any ideas, any myths of baseball you want us to try out, let us know in the comment section below. We have a, an absolute ton of uh, IRL baseball videos coming to you soon, and uh, they're sick. They are so sick. I can't wait to show you guys these. Wow. This is me thinking about those videos. But I'm out of here. If you guys enjoyed that video, make sure you slap the like button. If you're new here, hit that sub button as well. Uh, I guess we're going to go shag up all the balls that uh, we hit before we tied into the fishing pole. Wow, see that? It's already helping us. Insane. But I'm out of here. I'll see you guys in the next one. I don't know,